What's guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and on today's video, I'll be showing you how to make Snake and Scratch. Pretty simple, pretty easy, I'm gonna put a preview on screen. So as you guys know, in Normal Snake, um, there's a red apple that just gives you one point that spawns randomly around the field. In our game, we will have that, and a golden apple that spawns randomly every 10 seconds. So this golden apple will give you three points rather than one, and will increase your snake size by three rather than one. Anyway, let's get started on to coding the game. First thing you want to do is to delete the scratch cat and paint a new sprite. So the first sprite is going to be a snake head. So find a nice green for your color. For example, I like this green. Bring the brightness down a little bit. Change the outline to zero. Go to the square tool and make a small little rectangle. So I'm basing this off how this looks. So a snake head like this looks too big in my opinion. So I'm going to drag this like this and rearrange it to the middle. Once I've done that, this snake head looks about a good size. So next thing I'm gonna do is go to my line tool, change the outline to five, and turn the brightness to 100, and looks like I want a red ton. So hold shift and aim towards the middle of your snake. Don't make the ton too big or too short. So for example, I like that size of a ton. Next, go to your pointer tool, click on the ton, and press back. This will move the ton back behind this rectangle for the snake head. Next, we want to give the snake some eyes. So go to your circle tool, change the outline to zero, go to fill, make it black, then go to the snake, hold shift to draw a perfect circle, and now you want to draw a snake eye about that big. So you can move it to anywhere you want. For example, I like my snake eye kind of close to the ton, so I'm gonna leave it there. Now, what I do to get perfect eyes that are the same size is I click on the actual snake eye that I made the first time, copy it, and paste it. So what I did there was control C, control V to copy and paste. Um, and then what I do is I move the snake eye perfectly in the same position as the other one. So this is my snake head. So if I think this is too big up top, I just shrink this down a little bit more and select it all and move it back to the middle. I think that is a good snake head. Let's continue. Next thing we are going to make is the control. So first thing we want to do is go to events, one green flag collect, control, forever, if block. So this will be the movement. So make sure to grab four if then blocks. I already have one. One, two, three, four. Drag that right there. Next, what you want to do is go to sensing. Key, uh, let's, let's do arrow keys for your movement. Key, up arrow pressed. Key, down arrow pressed. Key, right arrow pressed. Key, left arrow pressed. Now you just want to move those into there. And then what you can do after that is go to motion. And we are going to be actually using directions right now, not the actual speed. So point and direction, one up arrow key pressed, zero. One down arrow key pressed, point and direction, 180. One key right arrow press, point and direction, 90 degrees. One key left arrow press, point and negative 90 degrees. So as you can see, now if we start our project, our snake moves in all four directions. Now let's get onto actually making the snake move. First thing we are going to do is make a variable, call this variable score. So put this variable right here, it's fine, it's just like this. Now for our actual script, what you wanna do is go to events, one green flag clicked, looks, show, variables, show variable, change this to score, set score to zero go to motion point in direction zero go to x zero y zero put that there go to control forever go to motion so this will actually move the snake so motion move i'd say about five steps forever next what you want to do is go to back to control Go to if then block, then what you want to do, sensing, if touching changes to edge, then go to events and make a new broadcast. Call this broadcast game over. Put that in there. Also now what you want to do is go to looks, hide, and then also put variables, hide variable, changes to score, and put that there. Perfect, now let's test our script. So as you can see, our snake moves around just fine and if we hit the edge, everything stops and everything's hidden. Let's continue. 
Next thing you want to do is actually go to costumes for your snake head. Click on the actual head of the snake. Control C, aka copy. Make a new sprite, so paint, and then paste it right in the middle. Now that we have that done, this will be the snake's body. So the snake's body needs, needs to be the same color as the head. Now what we will do is make this look more like a square. So reduce the width and the height, then drag it to the middle again. Now let's code it. First thing you want to do is go to events, one green flag clicked, forever, go to motion, go to, put this to sprite one, aka your head, then what you want to do is go to control, weight, change this to 0 0.01 seconds, put that there and create a clone of mine. What this does is it makes the actual snake body follow the snake. So as you can see, it works perfectly, but it doesn't actually follow the snake. It just leaves a big trail. So let's fix this. Next thing I wanna do is go to, when I start as a clone, go to weight, now go to operators, grab the divide one, put that in there and put five right here on the right side and go to variables and put score here. Then you want to go back into control and delete this clone. What this is doing is it's dividing the score by five seconds, then telling it to delete this clone. So the bigger you get, the more time it takes to delete all the clones. Next thing you wanna do is grab a one green flag clicked, looks, show, then go to, go backward one layers. Next thing you wanna do is go to events, when I receive game over, looks, hide, control, stop all. Next thing you want to do is go to make a new sprite and actually choose a sprite. This time you can just click on the apple. Once you've done that, make sure to go to events, one green flag clicked, show, events, when I receive, looks, game over, hide. Now let's actually code the apple. Next thing you want to do is go to events, one green flag clicked, looks, set size to 50%. Once you've done that, drag that on there, go to control, Go to forever, if then, drag that under there. And then what you want to do, sensing, if touching, changes to sprite one, aka the head. Drag that in there. Variables, change, score, by one. Then go to motion, go to X, operators, pick random, pick random in there. So go to X, negative 220 to x220 y negative 160 to 160 once you've done this watch what happens so for example this is normal snake so as you can see i grow if i eat an apple and if this is all you want to do end here if you don't want a game over screen or a golden apple you can just leave the tutorial here and you've got a functional snake game but if you want to be going extra and you want to have a golden apple on the game over screen, keep on watching. To make your golden apple, just duplicate your normal apple sprite and call this golden apple. Once you're done with that, go to costumes, click on the apple and make the fill a nice yellow. So let's go to yellow. I like that yellow. Let's bring down the brightness a little bit. That looks good in my opinion. So next thing you want to do is click on the apple. Since we lost all the outline, make it black and let's make the outline, let's see. How about five? So now that you've done that, all we need to do now is actually fill in the outline. So let's grab the paint tool, make the fill black and let's go around the edges. So 10 is too big for these spots up here. So I'm just going to paint around these edges of the apple to fill them in. If you want to get this little white shiny spot on the apple, go to the circle tool, make the fill white by bringing the saturation to zero, brightness to 100, make the outline zero, and just make a circle that looks something like this. Next, what you want to do is drag it right there, go to the reshape tool, and now what you want to do is you actually just want to form it around this black outline. Now that we have that done, here is our golden apple. Now let's start coding. First thing you wanna do is go to one green flag clicked, looks, hide. Then what you wanna do is go to control, forever, wait, 10 seconds. 
duplicate this, go to X and Y, put this right there, then go to looks, show. And as you can see, we have the script right here. Just change score by three, delete this right here, and go to looks, hide. Now you have your golden apple, and finally, let's make the game over screen. So for the game over screen, just paint a new sprite, go to bitmap mode, make your fill a red color, paint bucket it, make this make the screen red, convert back to vector, grab the text box, make your text white, and just write game over. Now you can drag this anywhere you want, but for now, I'll just put this in the middle of my actual red background. Once you're happy with this, just go to code, one green flag clicked, looks, hide. Make sure to add a go to X, zero, Y, zero on the one green flag clicked. So there we have it. We have a fully functional snake game with an apple and a golden apple. This was pretty simple and easy to make. If you enjoyed, please drop a like. It really supports the channel. If you don't mind subscribing, please do. As you can see, the golden apple works, everything works, and this game is working great. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.